Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. You know the drill. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Let's get into it. So often I get approached by men or I just overhear the conversations of men uh, stating or alluding to they don't know their purpose in life. And uh, I think we do, but we're scared uh, to step out. We're scared of uh, our own voice, our own voice telling us it's too hard, it's not realistic, right? It's a pipe dream or the voices of others. But I'll, I'll let you know the biggest voice, the biggest distraction, the biggest hater is our inner self. No one would be a bigger hater than your inner self. No one would be uh, a bigger supporter than your inner spirit, your inner self. And uh, you got to get out of your own way. Get out of your thoughts. Just do it. Like Nike says, just do it. Take action. Um, everything else, any roadblock you set before yourself uh, is an excuse. It's just an excuse. It's just a reason to cop out. So I believe we, we all know our true purpose. We just uh, we take the easy road or the easy way out. And... Um, and I may be wrong. Maybe some of us don't know our true purpose in life. I may be totally off on that. Um, but uh, just being transparent, uh, quick story. My purpose in life is to tell stories. My story, other stories. Through uh, writing, through uh, film, through voice to tell the stories of others or to just tell stories, period. So I'm a storyteller. I'll, I've always been a storyteller since I was uh, I'm a good storyteller because I'm a good listener. So since I was at the, from the age of 10 or 11, um, I can remember people telling me things, friends or, or little girlfriends telling me uh, intimate stories, private stories that no one knew uh, what made them feel comfortable telling me those stories. I don't know, uh, but people have always told me stories, told me their, their most deep, uh, deepest and private stories about their life, what's happened to them. And uh, it could be overbearing, I'll tell you that. It could be overbearing, so I uh, got to have a release. But uh, going all the way to uh, being a young man, uh, and, and, uh, even up to now, people still tell me their stories. They feel comfortable telling me their stories. And so, uh, you know, I, I feel humbled uh, that they entrust me uh, with, those, with those stories. Uh, but from an early age, I was good at writing. It was just a gift. Um, Easter just passed. When I was a child, they allowed me to write my own Easter poems, my own Easter stories. Um, yeah, all the other children had to be given an Easter poem, but I was allowed to write my own from an early age. So even the church uh, saw the talent in me. And so um, moving on, I used to recite at different events and, uh, you know, decisions, man, decisions, got married young, had children young. Now you're moving out of place of desperation, right? So now I'm doing things out of desperation, taking on jobs that I want to take on. Just, just doing things out of desperation because I had no plan, right? So now I'm not living my true purpose, not fulfilling my purpose, not uh, honing my gift and talent, my guy given gift and talent, not honing it, just gave it up. Cause I'm like, man, you can't make any money off of writing. It takes years and I don't have years. So again, desperation, man, decisions, 
And so I think a lot of us fall into that, that trap of not having a plan, making decisions, the wrong decisions. And uh, as a result, we start doing things out of desperation. Now, I like to be objective and uh, I'm an optimist by nature. So the flip side of that is, if I didn't go through that, I couldn't talk about it right now and forewarn you or help you uh, onto the right track. So, hey, I count it all joy. It still brought light. That dark, that dark moment in my life still brought some lightness and righteousness. So I don't complain. Uh, life lesson and uh, we're here to teach and learn and keep giving back, right? So there's... The ultimate goal is to fulfill your purpose. Now, how do we get there? A lot of people don't know how you get there. Uh, there's three entities, three things you need to understand in order to get to your purpose, right? The first one is passion. What are you passionate about? What are you intense about, right? What gets your juices flowing? What sets your spirit on fire? Passion. What would you do for free? For no money. What gets you out of bed? That's your passion. That's your passion. Don't attach money to it. Don't attach anything that can come and go, right? Only meat and potatoes, man, only substance. What is your passion? Nothing materialistic attached to it. What gets you out of bed that you would do for free, all right? Number two, mission. You have to discover or know your mission in life. Meaning, what assignment do you want to carry out? What assignment are you destined to carry out? Right? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to accomplish with this passion? Where are you going with it? Now, typically, missions require travel. Travel of mind, body, and spirit. But I'm going to add a fourth one. Travel of voice. Travel a voice. Very important. Your voice is very important. You can speak things into existence. Hey, God said, let there be light. And there was light. Meaning, let there be righteousness. And there was righteousness. You have that same power. You are a descendant. You are an offspring. You are an heir to the throne. So that means, hey, you have that birthright. You have that natural gift, that natural power to speak things into existence. So your voice is very important. You have to speak it. You have to believe it. Speak where you're going. Speak your mission. Speak how you're going to get there, right? And sometimes you can't speak how you're going to get there, and I'll lead into that later. But with your mission, knowing where you're going, do your research. See who's traveled the road you're traveling. Now, everyone, everyone is different. Everyone has a different life path. And everyone's going to get somewhere a different way. But just do your research because you may have to take that life path. Maybe, maybe not. But more important than doing your research, follow your instinct. And that leads me into the third entity that you need to understand and that's direction you have your, your passion what lights you on fire what are you intense about you have your mission what assignment do you need to accomplish All right and the subtitle to that is, is travel how you gonna get there and then you have direction which way do you go? How do you get there? 
How do you get there? And like I stated before, you have to do your research on others that's traveled that path before. But more importantly, follow your instincts. Now, we've all traveled from city to city, from community from to community, state to state, country. Not all of us travel country to country, but some of us. And we do our research first. We, we get a map, we ask around, we Google. We do our research. Now, sometimes we have a gut feeling, like we'll tell ourselves, yeah, I know this is what the data says. I know this is what the research says. But my gut feeling is telling me this. Especially when we're lost. We go on our gut feeling a lot. And what I've discovered with my own life, I'm right most of the times when I go on my gut feeling. Even when I'm wrong, that wrong path that what seems wrong has led me to some new information or new opportunity. Right? It's led me in, in a direction or a location I didn't plan on being, but I met someone. I made a connection. I got some new information. And most times that person has sent me on the right path. But I met a friend, I met a business acquaintance, a business partner. I got some new information, some knowledge. So again, I count it all joy. There are no mistakes in life. There are no mistakes. So when you add up passion plus mission plus direction, that gives you your purpose. What is purpose? Purpose is light. Light. What does light do? Light shines. Light shines. Light gives you glory. Light gives people focus. Right? Light gives people a vision, encouragement. When you're in darkness, man, there's nothing like seeing light. You ever been on a dark, dark road? traveling, especially in the country, and you're traveling, it's just darkness. And you may even know where you're going, where you want to get to. You know your destination. But there's no feeling like seeing light, like when you might see a store, a convenience store up ahead, or you're coming into a busy city, a live city, and you see that light ahead. There's nothing like it. And that's what we are. That's your purpose, your light. That gives all these three entities equal light. Light to shine you, shine bright on you, and to be a light to others, to show them the way, to bring them out of darkness. Righteous light. So that's how you get to your purpose. You know, uh, it's easier said than done, but it's not as hard as it seems, all right? That's that balance. It's not as hard as it seems, and it's not as easy as it sounds. But again, that's how we get to the point where we're fulfilling our purpose. And it takes discipline. It takes focus. It takes denying self. And when I say denying self, I mean denying ego. You know, wallowing in your sorrows, that's ego. Uh, not not doing your due diligence, thinking you got it all figured out. That's ego. Did not ego. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. And you'll fulfill your purpose. You'll bring that light, that righteousness. And that's what we're here for, to bring righteousness to the world. To separate the dark from the light. Righteousness from the unrighteousness. And that's what we're all here for. To learn from each other. To teach each other. All right, so we'll go over it again. The three entities to fulfilling your purpose. Passion. Be truthful with yourself. What gets your juices going? What gets you out of bed? What would you do for free? What are you naturally gifted at? That you know God gave me this gift. Mission. What is your mission? What are you here to accomplish? Subtitle to that, travel. How will you get there? 
How will you get there? How will you fulfill your mission? Requires travel, body, mind, soul, voice. Next, direction. Which way do you get there? Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Do you do diligence? Do you research? But trust your instincts over everything. Trust your instinct. There is your purpose. There is where you find light. That's where you find righteousness. And there you go. Hey, let's do it. Peace.